I'd like to hear Dr. Grant speak a little on his personal diet and training philosophies. Yeah. So that's changed a lot over the years. I think um, I've actually become a less is more guy lately. I've been, we've been we've been maintaining for the last few months doing like two sets of each exercise, like just to maintain our muscle. Uh, my wife and I work out together, and it's been great. But obviously, we didn't get there doing that. I mean, there are guys that advocate the high intensity, you know, like Mike Mincer style, Dorian Yates style. I'm not convinced those guys grew their muscle on those protocols. I think they were able to grow more early in life and then they kind of pushed a little harder with anabolics and, and high intensity still kept them growing, but I don't know. Um, but I, I like it. I like the thought behind that. I think you can, my philosophy is do, it's kind of like with testosterone, find what works for you. And you can find that in more ways than one. Um, I like working out and trying to hit everything twice in eight days. Like, so, so every eight days I try to run through everything. Um, I'll do like four on one off or something like that. I do like a push pull and then a quad dominant with accessories and then a hamstring day with accessories. I like splitting up my quads and hams. I hate doing them together because it just wrecks me. I don't have enough energy to really push to do both properly. Um, and for diet, same thing. Like, I mean, macros, calorie counting. Yes. All that works great. That's how I lost 52 pounds seven years ago. You know, when I got out of residency, my last year of residency, just by counting calories and, and learning how to weigh my food. And then now, now that we're past that point in our lives, we focus on actual trying to find good quality foods because you can lose fat and all that on crap food but it's not going to be healthy internally for you. So I'm, we're trying to find now to push ourselves to find truly organic, you know, grass fed beef and local free range chickens and raw milk. And I mean, all the things, you know, that a lot of people poo poo. And I poo pooed that when I was younger, I was like, ah, it's not that big a deal. Cause all I cared about was weight loss. I didn't care about the health part. And now that I'm in my forties, you know, almost 44, it's like, yeah, I kind of want to think about health too. And what's going on internally that I put in my body. Um, I like a lot of Mike Israel stuff. I like Renaissance periodization. I think they're a little maybe high end on the volume recommendations, but it's not a cookie cutter protocol because they do base it off of, you know, minimum effective volume, maintenance volume, minimum effective, maximum recoverable volume. And people take that as like in stone, like that's what they have to do. And it's not, it's find your own MRV and MEV and all those things. So I think people like to misrepresent Mike about some of that stuff. I think he's got a good training philosophy. High volume can work. It works for natural guys. I mean, I've seen it with like Steve Hall from Revive Stronger follows Mike Israel stuff. And he's progressing great over the years doing these protocols. He's totally natural. Um, so you got to find what works for you. Some guys love starting strength and they love total body three days a week. I think as a beginner that works, but I think you'll wreck yourself over time. It's hard. to. I did total body three days a week for a while in med school and I, I stalled out real quick, especially if you're pushing yourself hard, you know, try to, to failure doing the four big lifts three days a week, plus some accessories, yeah. not on anabolics. You're going to wreck yourself in my opinion, you know? Um, so again, I'm more of a keep it in the middle. You know, I think a lot of guys do fine with the bro splits. They do fine with that one day a week, hit, hit everything and then take a couple of days off. That can work fine. I think it works better if you're on anabolics. I think for the more natural guys, I think hitting things twice in a week, like either an upper lower rest and repeat or a push pull type thing works really push pull legs. I think works really well. And then diet just for people truly wanting to get leaner. You've got to know what you're putting in your body. You have to, I mean, there's just no getting around it. If you can just cut out some things for a while and gain and lose a little weight, but if you want to dial in and get sub 10% body fat, um, you're going to have to start weighing your food and knowing exactly what's going in your body. So you can make the adjustments that you need. And I, I'll say that to a lot of my patients and they're kind of their eyes glaze over because they'll tell me, Doc, I've tried everything to lose weight. And I'll, I'll ask them, did you have you bought a food scale? And they kind of look at me like I'm crazy, like, no, I haven't done that. I'm like, then that's you got to do that. And most of them won't. And it, it just works. I mean, it's that simple. It's simple, but it's hard. There's a difference between something being you know, simple and easy, uh, simple conceptually. But it's hard to implement because of uh, we, we all like to eat. And being hungry is not fun, too. So everybody's got to pick where they want to be. If you're happy being 15 percent body fat or 18, that's a healthy body fat. I mean, honestly, for guys that are fit and if you have muscle, you probably don't need to be necessarily counting. And I don't weigh everything anymore um, because I already know from weighing it in the past. I know what I eat and how much is kind of in what. 
And so I think that's the beauty of weighing your food. Even if you only have to do it, do it for a year or something just to train yourself what certain sizes of portions look like. Then you may not have to weigh down the road because you kind of already you've already learned that. So, yeah. Give this video a like and visit the shop test store for your supplements, insulin syringes, disinfection alcohol pads and 10ml glass vials. Also check out my new ebook Acne on TRT.